Hello, I'm Amy Johnson. We begin with breaking news in Diamond Bar. A wrong way driver is accused of causing a horrific accident, leaving at least half a dozen people dead. The crash happened on the westbound 60 freeway north of Diamond Bar Boulevard. There are major delays right now on the 60. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is at the scene of this breaking situation. Joy, really a horrific scene out there. Such a horrific scene and such a sad scene to know that so many people lost their life here on the freeway, all because what investigators are calling a wrong way driver. And I want to, I'm joined now again by Officer Jimenez. I know you just walked over here again. You tell us you have some updates for us. What, what can you share with us at this hour? Okay, so now we have the genders of the parties uh, that died in this crash. Um, it's five females and one male. Um, right now, the, uh, the driver of the Camaro seems to be in stable condition. Um, we do have officers uh, talking with her at, at the hospital, trying to get some more information. Um, we're going to have, right now we have a singular for four hours, and that's the latest on, on the closure. Four hours from now, so maybe noonish. We're hoping to get it open as soon as possible, but we're not going to jeopardize the integrity, so uh, the integrity of the investigation. So I, I think right now it's, it's four hours from now. Thank you so much, Officer Jimenez. And for those of you who may just be joining us here this morning, I want to give you a little bit of background here on this accident. It all started at about 4.40 this morning. That's when investigators started getting calls of a wrong-way driver on the 57. Somehow, that wrong-way driver, believed to be a female driving a red Camaro, ended up merging from the 57 onto the 60 freeway. They were heading east on the westbound lanes of the 60 freeway. When they came to this location, right where it sort of crests in the road, unbeknownst to the drivers that were heading west in the westbound lanes to see this car coming at them, and ended up slamming into two other vehicles. Four people were declared dead here on the scene. Four more were transported to a local hospital. Since that time, two of those four that were transported have died, bringing our death total up to six people who died so far here. Of the two survivors, one of them is the driver of that red Camaro, as you just heard she is in stable condition at this hour. The other survivor was a passenger in one of the vehicles. We are told they were just complaining of pain and injuries of that kind, and so they are also expected to be okay. We do know that we have had at least one person die in each of the three vehicles. As for the other fatalities and what vehicle they were in, that is still under investigation at this hour. And back out here live, we had been saying that alcohol may have played a factor in this crash. I want to be very clear about that because we also have gotten a little bit more of clarification when it comes to that. Um, they say that they did find evidence of alcohol in the driver's vehicle. However, that does not necessarily mean that the driver is the one that was drinking. So we don't want to accuse this woman of doing something that she may or may not have done that could have caused this crash. So again, six people dead in a wrong way collision involving three vehicles. The person who survived is that wrong way driver. Now I want to get to a map because I want to show you where the closures are here in this area. Right now we do still have the 60 westbound lanes closed. They are closed from the 57 all the way up to Phillips Ranch Road or starting at Phillips Ranch Road going to the 57. That does remain closed and as you just heard it here live first from Officer Jimenez, it looks like this freeway is going to remain closed until at least noon today. Reporting live from Diamond Bar, Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.